Hey folks, welcome back to more of Noganabe. I'm Mysterious JG, and I'm playing a game that you probably know what game I'm playing because you've probably been watching for a while now. Um, we're making money, we're spending money. Lubu's trying to betray us. Um, I'm just hoping that some of these guys, uh, all the conspiring is, is people spending money to make sure that they won't participate in attacks. It's fine, because I'm not going to be attacking anybody anytime soon. What would you like? We can buy treasure. We need treasure. Um, if we can get up to 6,000 gold, I can buy two what treasures. Like? And we need treasure. Keep selling lots of food. Thank There's a famine going on, so it's, I guess it's a good time to be selling food. Um, what would you like? We could afford a grade 7 treasure. That might be a good idea, instead of buying lots of shitty treasures, buy a couple of good treasures, but it's tough to tell what is going <clears> to <throat> really affect officers certain ways. Thank you very much. What would you like? Thank you very much. Wanted to keep some treasures in reserve for some of these guys who keep wanting to ditch us. He prefers the musings to whatever he has now. Maybe if I gave... Lubu is not... The only thing that's going to increase his loyalty is like... Nobunaga's personal, Nobunada, no, Nobuhide's personal clan treasure. I'm not too worried about them. And Aya Oda, I, maybe I just need to marry her off to somebody to get them happy. <clears throat> Anybody I've already given a treasure to, I'd feel bad um, marrying them off. That might have been the mo that might have been the smartest way to actually. get Lu Bu on board is to marry him off to be a clan member. But you know, honestly, is he, Lu Bu is a good war officer. He's not really, like, the best ever. Looking for people that I can increase with something other than... Yeah, the musings would boost her by one, but she hasn't really been complaining. Grade 9. He's got a grade 6. This might finally get him to shut up, actually. I thank you for this wonderful treatment, my leader. So Saruko might finally shut the fuck up. <laughs> um... Saruko's loyalty is a 20. Let's take a look. It's in a book, Reading Rainbow. We finally hit the point where we can, like, take him out of that castle without him losing his shit. Treasure what I've received. So he would go from a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He'd go from a plus 10 to a plus 6, and his required loyal... His base loyalty is 10, required is 15. So he'd be right at the edge of revolting, even now, if I took him out of there. <sighs> Alright, what about, uh, here? No, sorry, that's actually where I just was. Uh, Katsuie is also on the cusp. Looks like I should have married Lubu off. I kind of don't want to do that with the historical officers because I don't want to break uh, 
break anything up. Historically, that should have happened differently. I don't want to... Yeah, I give away a daughter to, to satisfy that asshole. What was it that Lee Ru or Lee Su or somebody was like, oh, for the sake of one woman, the kingdom will fall. Well, I guess so. So now there's an enclosure here. We do not have the needed structures. This requires stone wall. Which would be re required for uh, the best Tenshu as well. Oh no, you could do that with just earthen wall. So if we built a stone wall, we would have four, five, six left for facilities. And then if we built this larger annex on top of that, we would only have four left. These require stone wall. Well, maybe we can leave Nagoya Castle alone for a while. I think getting a yeah, getting an enclosure on each of these isn't a bad idea though. don't want to just keep spending all the money that I've got either. So I just bought new treasures and I haven't handed them all out yet, but how many have I got in reserve? I got four, and I've got new officers who are coming soon. You know what, this will take care of you. Because the Slicer Hasebe is apparently just a much better fit for you. She deserves a treasure, but um, her loyalty might start to waver if we have a change of leadership. I like the idea of him having the Japanese glossary, though. because apparently he likes it better. I'm still hoping that eventually I can move him out of that castle. Give me back that helmet. Here's a book. Now we can give away a helmet to this girl. At the end of the day, do I have any officers I really care about whose loyalty is orange? She's like a daughter with no real... Um... Oh, she's a member of the clan, but she's not actually a daughter of... Okay, no wonder she's not li literally a clown, a clown, a clan person. She's the foster... Yeah, that's right. She's the foster father is... Uh, is... Uh, Nobuhide. Uh, Saito Retainer. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be connected to important plot stuff. I think he just kind of... Some of these guys just kind of showed up.
so we need to keep him. And we try to keep him. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, we'll, we'll hold some treasures in reserve. Oh, boy. All right, so let's actually get some stuff done here. Um, any more roads to build up in our own territory? Ancho and Okagi, Ogaki are going to have to do with that because I don't want to build up roads for somebody else. Uh, see, now this is... Oh, this is green and that's red. I don't get it. All right. I think we're working on this, right? Yep. You are not ready to... Neither of you guys are ready. You're discontent at 100, though. So I think we fell into that same trap from before. They're... Um... They're only in orange now. They weren't. They thought they were in red, or I thought maybe we could, maybe they would get unhappy enough that we could uh, do something better with it. But uh, no, she should. I guess she has to drip dot, drop below five. Maybe with time, if nothing's done, I'll get the chance. But it looks like maybe we won't be able to get them after all. We just threw a lot of money at it for no good reason. It could be. They just don't want us to search there. I don't get it. Uh, I'm kind of wondering about this base. But it's, it doesn't seem like they're going to mess with us until the plot makes something happen. All right, and time marches on, and the beat goes on. Shiba Clan was eliminated by Nambu Clan. I thought the Shiba Clan had already been eliminated a couple of times. Hitasada Hiyashi is conspiring again. Guy's not worth the trouble. Nobuhide has gained agility. And uh, Saruko is reckless and agile. Your orders. Here is last month's balance. Bleh. Reporting in. Kirahato has had a change of heart. Okay, she's not going to join us. It's too bad. I wanted her. In the worst way. No, no. Nothing like that. This guy's progressive, so he'll be a good fit once uh, Nobunaga takes over. Kazumasu. I like... I'm, inter his I'm interested. His portrait was interesting. I wonder what his deal is. Oda Retainer. Okay. He uh, was defeated by the Hojo and lost a lot of power. <laughs> so he's no longer a power warrior. No theater, farmer's fair, rice dealer. Okay, so eventually we'll get a coin exchange there, which will be good. And we're developing an area there that isn't ready to go yet. Wondering if I should start working on the Tenshus as well. Tenshu Muyo. I said this one will take them up to that. I'll have, I guess, four left over if I can make my way all the way up to residence. And uh, population will increase quickly. Poor Glare. Um, see, this, this won't do anything non-military for me. So... Unless I commit to one of these two paths, there's no point in building this and then sitting on it. Resupply soldier strength strength increases maximum popularity and number of troops. 
increases number of troops. Any of the castles I know I'm going to be keeping, I could be working on. Can I build this out repairing the wooden fence? I do know, I mean, I do expect I'll be keeping Shobata and uh, Narumi permanently. Maybe I just need to, yeah, maybe these two I need to build up to the point where I have um, an enclosure. That seems like it would be reasonable use of cash. All my cash, unfortunately. What would you like? I'd like to sell more stuff. I'd like to never have food again, ever. Thank you very much. You are so stupid. Thank you very much. It just might be foolishness to keep working on those cities, but. Oh, at this point, yeah, our maximum conscripts went way up. It's been a while since I spent this much on uh, development, but I did. Mr. P won't join us just yet, but we've built up enough discontent, so I'll stop conspiring. Maybe he'll join us. Doesn't look like we're going to get the one I really wanted, who's the lady whose name I keep forgetting. I've gained the rearguard trait. I shall reach the pinnacle of warriorhood, and I'll Let's guard my own butt. Here is last month's balance. Okay. Reporting in. So what kind of chicanery can we get up to here? You, we can pacify, but that's it. And your discontent is sinking. Has your loyalty gone up? It doesn't seem like it's gone up. Yeah. In both cases, their loyalty is too high. So... She's at a change of heart, which basically means we're not getting her. Mr. P, maybe... There's still a chance. Not really going to happen with uh, with what's her face. Uh... Oh no, I don't want to do that there. Oh, hold on. What would you like? There's treasures for sale. A travel pillow tea set. It's a higher grade. I can't spend every penny on those, though. I'm getting out of control with the treasure purchases. How many treasures have I even got now? I've got three. Wheel. Wheel. You know what's the big show? What would you like? Let me just go against everything I just said and Thank buy very much. both of those. So I've got would you like? some higher cheer treasures. Thank you very much. What would you like? Thank you very much. The travel pillow will actually make Lubu happy. So let's give it to him. I'm overjoyed by this, my liege. I shall treasure this for generations. I so enjoyed pillow sets named... Er... What is this? Grant a rank to an officer. Traits are skills that each officer possesses. Each officer may have up to 20. Ranks also count as traits. In addition, Daimyo can gain titles which act as traits. The effect of traits activate automatically. 
Traits have all sorts of effects. Some affect construction and civil matters. Well, there's abilities. Okay. There are five main ways to gain traits. Uh, gaining from... Well, start with traits and scenario begins. Gain from growth. Gain through teachings. By selecting the teach subcommand from the retainer command, you can teach traits to your officers. Inheriting from previous officer, when an officer with an heir passes away, they can pass a single trait. Obtaining a rank or title to gain those traits. With the teach command, you can freely teach any of the traits your clan has obtained to your officers. You can gain traits for your clan the following ways. Completing events and quests, executing captured officers. If you teach traits to an officer who already has 20, you will need to have them delete one before they learn the trait. Okay... Who do I want to give a rank to? Hmm... And why is Saduko coming up, like, first? Tango Prefect. Isn't that my, uh... Rank? Hold on. His rank is... Bungo Prefect. Oh, so I can pass on lower ranks. So, I guess in the comments, make your case for why you think you should be Tango Prefect. Tango and Cash, the Prefects. Alright, uh, interesting. So, did not know I can do that. I can give traits to people. Doesn't, don't know if it does anything to their loyalty, but I would think it would. Aya Oda. I don't know for sure who I want to give a, this to. So let's save the game and see what happens if we give it to Sadako. Squeaky Wheel gets the grease, and while several officers have been squeaky, he's the squeakiest. Alternate, alternately, I could give it to Scotty North based on the fact that she has not been a pain in the ass. Give leadership of the clan to another, expel. She's not very high on the list of people that they think I should give it to. It does increase loyalty. But it reduces our... clan posts. So maybe... Saruko can actually learn a, something from it. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see who has the most to... Well... Yeah, but if I... Yeah, I was I was thinking, oh, I can just wait and give you guys a chance to weigh in, but... I think I'll have another... Even if I wait to the end of this recording session, I'll have another whole recording session. Before I... Probably before I get this posted. There's no rush on this, though. I can. I think I can take my time and figure this out. Aya Oda is just not that valuable, and eventually I might just marry her off to somebody to increase their loyalty. So even though she's showing up orange there, she's not really that important, sadly. Ryu Dorogon has... He's going to ditch us if he ever loses that castle, potentially. Charlton Jane has been pretty good recently, and uh, she doesn't have the plus one uh, long tenure bonus yet, but I think that'll help, as it has with um, Soup Phantom. Soup Phantom hasn't hasn't given us any issues since we gave him a treasure he kind of liked. Um, this guy's just a pain in the ass, and I need to keep him around until the plot no longer requires it. Uh, Lubu's good, 
with that treasure. That treasure. He really likes that treasure. If I gave him a rank, he might not need a castle anymore. But that's about it. Uh, Katsuie might be a good idea to get him a rank. He's he's pretty high on my list of people I would want to give that rank to. Garth Morgan's been pretty good recently. Yeah, that treasure. Still not over the fact that he got captured, but uh, it's canceled out. Scotty's been good too. She doesn't even have a treasure. Burns with loyalty. Yeah, that 20. Like, he goes straight from ready to betray us at any moment to Burns with loyalty if you can hit 20. Uh, if I give him a title, it means I won't need to give him a castle, but that's about it. And actually, I think it's only a plus 3 for the title, so he'd go back to, like, bouncing around with maybe wanting to betray us eventually mode. Oh, I don't care about you. Mostly it's the created guys I care about. I'm being straight with you. All right. Well, one thing we'll do before we call it a video is um, get a treasure to Scotty, just because I feel like she's earned it. Um, I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a uh, a level ten because you've already you're fairly happy. It's a good fit, though. Well, why am I doing this? I can tell what it is. I'm overjoyed by this, my liege. I shall treasure this for generations. Well, I mean, I'll get, you'll get tired of looking at it if you look at it for generations, but okay. Uh, so, I'm just going to look at all of my created officers here. Saruko has a treasure. Ryu Dorogon has a treasure. Soup Phantom and Garth Morgan have treasures. I, I like the notion of him having this Japanese glossary, so I'll leave it that way until uh, he gets unhappy. Looks like all my created officers have treasures. So you, you know how much I love you guys now. Alright, well, this has been kind of a video of me mulling over that stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to probably even forget I can award those titles. So um, when this video goes public... Um, Guys, start advocating for who you think should be made the um, Wango Zitango Prefect Lord, uh, as awarded by the Lord of Bungo. I'm the Mysterious JG. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you will tune in next time for more of Nobunaga's Ambitions, Sphere of Influence. Bye bye.